Shalom, most high Christ bless. Uh, my name is Judah. I was born in Cameroon, but I don't call myself a Cameroonian because of the history of that country. That country was currently, it was um, colonized by four colonial masters. We have the Portuguese, we have the German, we have the British, and we have the French. Four colonial masters were interested in that country. I was asking myself a question, why up to four? We have a lot of countries that they have English, the French, the uh, Portuguese, and the Spain. Uh, but why this country up to four colonial masters? So what I found out was uh, that this country uh, was, if you see, look at the Cameroon map, the way it is, you will see that um, the country is like, uh, um, like uh, in, in the corner like this in Africa, like people call it the bridge of Africa. So that's where most of the slaves during slavery were brought, were gathered and brought there. That was like the main center of slavery that they were shipping, bringing the slaves there and then ship them to Europe. I'm not saying that that is the only place I said, but what that was the main, one of the main junction. That's why up to four colonial masters they were so interested in that country. So, uh, the name Cameroon, it means rivers of crown, which means what uh, the Portuguese, they saw a river that is a lot of crayfish. So they decided to name that country, hey, from today you are rivers of crown. Uh, crown is crayfish. So they saw a lot of crayfish, they decided to name that country uh, rivers of crown. Cameroon, which means Cameroon is a Portuguese language, it means rivers of crown. A river that there is a lot of crayfish in it. That's what it means. So that's why I don't call myself Cameroon because um, we are now educated. We are no longer dear slaves. Although we are still slaves in our mind because our minds are not free, right? Uh, a lot of issue. Um, so I don't address myself as Cameroonian. I address myself uh, an Israelite. Let me show you a picture. Um, let me show you why I call myself an Israelite. Uh, I wanted to look at this picture. Let me flip the screen. Um, well, look at the screen here. You will see the Judah. You see? You see the Judah. Judah. You see? This is an African map. So there. You see the Judah. Right? So uh judah so this is because uh that's how we were called that's why you see they keep changing the african map over and over and over if you google the african map 400 years back what you see is different today they change it because they don't want us to know that we are the jews that the bible is talking about the god chosen people god has a chosen people right uh let us read something uh, like let me just say this when a war is going on we are in a spiritual war we are in a war that we are not using guns but we use fighting a spiritual war without guns um let me say this right um i am very happy that um in this group the pan-african group i make this video purposely for that group there is something going on that our people have not uh realized let me read something in the bible you see the bible is um the history book and a law book for the negroes all right let me say it again the bible is not a religious book it is a constitution for the people of israel that the bible is talking about written by the israelite for the israelite all right the bible is not a religious book it is a law book a constitution let me read Joshua 1 verse 8 uh, Joshua 1 verse 8 let me open it bear with me a second uh, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it says this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein for then shalt thou make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success so that is the only way you can be uh, prosperous you are wondering why we are not 
prosperous. We, the so-called, so-called Africans, why are we not prosperous? The answer is right here. He said, this book, you shall meditate with it day and night. Only then can you be prosperous. Without, you are not going to be prosperous. Now, this book, it is for the people of Israel only. Let me read something to you. Uh, Exodus chapter 1, verse 1. King James Version. I repeat, King James Version only. King James Version only. Exodus chapter 1, verse 1. It said, Now these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt. Every man and his household came with Jacob. Genesis talking about creation of the earth. God created the fish, created elephant, created tigers, created water, created everything. Yeah, right? The call of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So, from Exodus is talking about a nation of people. The Israelite. It did not say these are the names of the Christians. It did not say these are the names of Christianity. These are the names of Jehovah Witness. These are the names of Nigeria. These are the names of Cameroon, Togo, African American, Spain, Italy. It didn't say nothing like that. It said these are the names of who? The children of Israel. Let's go to the next book. I'll make this very fast. Let's go to the next book. Leviticus chapter 1 verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. Did he say speak unto everybody? So, did he say speak unto Jehovah Witness? Did he say speak unto Germany? Did this say speak unto the Chinese? No. Speak unto who? The children of Israel. Let's go to the next book. Let's go to Numbers chapter 1 verse 1. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the tabernacle of the congregation on the first day of the second month in the second year after they were, came, after they were uh, come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take ye the sum of the congregation of the children of Israel. So who is the concern? The children of Israel. Did this mention any other name? No. So who is this book addressed to? The children of Israel. Let's go to the next book. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. It says, These be the word which Moses spake unto all Israel. Hey, we read Exodus, uh, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. It is talking about who? The children of Israel, the children of Israel. Genesis is talking about creation and the call of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. These are the first five books of Moses called what? The Torah. Now from Joshua onward, they came enforcing these first five books. Now let's go to the New Text, New Testament. Mark 12 verse 29. The New Testament, Mark chapter 12 verse 29. And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandment is, Ye, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. The New Testament is about who? Israel. Now let's go to Matthew, Matthew 15 verse 24. Matthew 15 verse 24. What does it say? But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the Lordship of the house of Israel. So who did Jesus Christ came for? For the Lordship of the house of Israel. Now let's go to the last book in the Bible. Revelation. Revelation, the last book in the Bible, Revelation 21, verse 12. It says what? And had the wall great and high, and twelve gate, and at the twelve gate, twelve angels and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribe of the children of Israel. We read from, Je from Revelation. We read from Genesis, talking about the creation, the call of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Exodus, it talk about the children of Israel, addressed to the children of Israel, uh Leviticus addressed to the children of Israel, Numbers, children of Israel, Deuteronomy addressed to the children of Israel. Now we go to New Testament. Jesus Christ said he came for the lordship of the house of Israel. Now we get to Revelation, names written, which are the names of the twelve tribe of the children of Israel. The question is, who are these children of Israel today? Should be the question. Not what people say, but what the Bible says. Who are these children of Israel today? Now let's go. The same people that were with Moses in ancient Egypt. Moses went to Egypt to do what? To set God's chosen people free. That was the job of Moses, right? So Moses went up the mountain and came down with what? With the Ten Commandments. Did Moses come down with Islam? No. Did Moses come down with Christianity? No. Did Moses came down with Christians? No. 
What did Moses came down with? With the laws, laws, laws. Right? So now, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, <clears throat> verse 68. Who are these people of Moses today? Right? Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Let's see what it says. King James Version. I repeat, no version but King James Version. It says, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The book of Deuteronomy is talking to who? We read Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. He say, These be the word which Moses spake unto all Israel. The book of Deuteronomy is talking about who? All Israel. The same Deuteronomy, we go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. It says what? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Who is the D? The Israelite. God will bring them into slavery again with ships into Egypt. The question is, what were they doing into Egypt? Were they making party or they were buying and selling? What were they doing there? They were there as slaves, right? So God is saying he will bring you into Egypt again with what? With ships. With what? With ships. By the way, where I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more. You will never see your homeland Israel again. And there you shall be sold. In that Egypt, you shall be sold unto your enemies. You will be sold unto who? Your enemies. For born men, slave men, and born women, slave women, and no man shall buy you. Meaning what? Nobody will redeem you. Buy you means redeem you. We go to Exodus 20 verse 2. Precept. Exodus 20 verse 2. He says what? I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You see, they call Egypt the house of bondage. Let me repeat it again. Exodus 20 verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. He called Egypt house of bondage. Say, so God is saying he will bring his chosen people again into the house of bondage, into slavery again with ships. Now, with ships, right? God said will bring you into slavery again with ships and you will be sold as slaves. Here's my question. <sighs> Some people will go into slavery with ships. Let's pretend that we don't know these people. So the real question is to who did this happen to? What people went into slavery with ships and they were sold as slaves? Throughout history, to who did this happen to? Let me show you this picture. Look, look at this slavery with ships and be sold as slaves to who did this happen to the only people this happened to is who our people it's only our people went into slavery let me read Deuteronomy 28 verse 68 again right um let me put it this way um this way let me put it this way Deuteronomy 28 verse 68 again it says, um, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. The only people that went into with ships are us. You see, our people. We are the only people that went into slavery with ships. We are the only people. But what? this will happen to the people of Israel. Right? He's saying this will happen to the people of Israel. Now, why is it that our people have not come to realize this this bible is talking about us some people say well why are all these evil things happening to us um, why are all these evil things up look some people go on facebook they say look at the chinese the chinese they are growing look at singapore look at dubai look at this why are we not uh growing like them well because we are under the curses let me show you this let me show you what i'm saying Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Let me show you something here. Deuteronomy. This Bible that we hate so much. This is talking about you, my people. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Look at this. You have the King James Version. You can read. It says what? And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nation of the earth. Hey, wait a minute. Did you just understand what I said? What the Bible says? 
The Bible says, if we will do what this Bible says, God will set us high above all nations. Now, Deuteronomy 28 verse 15, what did it say? But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses will come upon thee and overtake thee. Two options. Two. You do what this Bible says, God says you are above all nations. We will be above the Chinese, we will be above the European, we will be above the Arabs, we will be above the Ethiopians, the Libyans, the Egyptians, we will be, we the descendants of the slaves will be above all nations if we do what this Bible says. Now if we don't do, what will happen? All these curses will come upon us. Now one of the curses was what? Slavery. With ships, one of the curses. Now let me read verse 47 and 48. Deuteronomy chapter 47 and 48. It says what? Because thou saviest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness of heart and with gladness of heart for abundance of all things. Verse 48. Therefore, therefore, as a result of that, therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies, not thy friends. You will serve your enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Hold on. Who sent the white man against us? The Lord. The Lord, therefore thou shalt send, serve the enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. He and he, the enemy, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. What would the enemy do? Put a yoke of iron on our necks until he will destroy us. The enemy will do what? Put yokes of iron on our necks. Now look at this. This is Bible prophecy. This is not drawing. These are pictures. These are pictures right here. These are not drawings. The Bible said the enemy will put a yoke of iron on our necks until we will be destroyed. This is yokes of iron. This is in the Bible. Who, to who did this happen to? It happened to us. We are the people that this happened to. This Bible is talking about us. We are here now trying to do pan-Africanism, um, United States of Africa. There is a saying that whatever thing you do, put God first. Now, I remember a time when Oklahoma, or how did they call it in the United States, when they make their own Black Wall Street, they have their own hospital, their own banks, they have their own everything separate completely from white people. What happened? The Lord used white people to bomb down the, the whole city, kill a lot of people, destroy everything. Why is it so? Because you are not doing it according to God what the lord says you must do it as the lord wants you to do what the lord what is god's purpose god wants us to be the rulers of this earth let me read a matter of fact let me read something to you in leviticus 25 verse 44 let me get the scripture leviticus 25 verse 44 let me show you the intention how god wanted us to live not the way it is today but how he wanted us to live leviticus 25 verse 44 let me read 25 verse 44. Let's start with 44. Now listen carefully. How the earth was supposed to be. According to the will of the Lord. Not according to man. But according to God. How the, how the earth is supposed to be. Let me read first Leviticus chapter 1 verse 2. Let's see who this book of Leviticus is addressed to. Leviticus chapter 1 verse 2. It says... Speak unto the children of Israel. When you open the book of Leviticus, it's addressed to who? The children of Israel. Now let's go to Leviticus chapter 25 verse 44. Leviticus 25 verse 44. 44 to verse 46. Let's see what it says. Both thy born men and thy born maid, which thou shalt have, shall be of the hidden. Who is the book of Leviticus addressed to? Us, the children of Israel, God is saying, our slave men and our slave women that we will have will be of the hidden, will be the Chinese, the European, 
the Japanese, the Arabs, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, the Egyptians, all these nations that did not suffer the slave trade, they are supposed to be our slaves. This is what the creator of this earth is saying through Moses. Let me repeat it again. Leviticus 25 verse 44 it say, Both thy born men and thy born maid which thou shalt have shall be of the hidden that are round about you. Of them shall he buy born men and born maid. Verse 45. Moreover of the children of the strangers that do so join upon you, of them shall he buy, and of their family that are with you, which they begat in thy land, and they shall be your possession. So even their children, their generation will be what our property. They are counted as property. Verse 46. And he shall take them as an inheritance. We shall inherit them for your children after you to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your born men forever. They have to be our slaves forever. Alright? But over your brethren, the children of Israel, he shall not rule one over another with rigor. So, these other nations were supposed to be our slaves forever. But what happened? That will only happen if we keep the commandment. If we don't keep the commandment, the Lord will turn the table upside down. Instead of them to be our slaves, we will be their slaves. And this is exactly what has happened. You see? So, what we are supposed to do now, we are supposed to come back to this Bible. The first thing we are supposed to do, we can create our United States of Africa and do anything as we want. But I'm telling you, as long as we have not come to realize that this Bible is talking about us, we are the God chosen people in this Bible, we have to return back as Israelites. You cannot repent as a Christian. God chosen people are called what the Israelites. Let me read that in Exodus 3 verse 10. Exodus 3 verse 10. It's Exodus 3 chapter 10. It says, Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that they may bring forth my people, the children of Israel. God called his people who? The children of Israel. Well, you might be saying, okay, there are some white people now in, in Israel. They claim to be, they call themselves, they are the Jewish people. All right. Let's see what the Bible says about them. Luke 21 verse 24. Let's see. The book of Luke chapter 21 verse 24. It says what? And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Who is the day? The Israelite. The Israelite that Christ came for. This is Jesus speaking. Luke 21 verse 24. You see what? And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall lead away captive into all nations. So that's why it's very clear, go ye into all nations and preach to all people because the Israelites are scattered into all nations. So let me read Luke 21 verse 24 again. He said, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall lead away captive into all nations. Now here's the point. And Jerusalem shall be thrown down of the Gentiles. So who is in, Je in Jerusalem today? The Gentiles. The, the answer is right here in Luke 21 verse 24. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentile until the time of Gentile be fulfilled. The time of Gentile has been fulfilled. Gentiles are right now in the promised land. Right? Claiming to be the Jews. So let's see what the Lord says in Isaiah 14 verse 1. How will the real Jews come back to the promised land? How will that happen? Let's see. Isaiah 14 verse 1. The book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1. It says what? For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet will choose Israel. Now, when Jesus Christ comes back, who is he going to choose? And which nation of people will he have to uh, will he have mercy? Jacob and will choose Israel. So what will happen with the rest of the people that are not chosen? Right? Let's see. Isaiah 14 verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet will choose Israel and set them in their own land. So who will set the true Israelite in their own land, the Lord, the Lord, not United Nation, the Lord, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Who are the strangers? All people that are not did not suffer the slave trade are strangers. The strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. The very thing we read in Leviticus 25 verse 44 will come back shall possess them in the land of the Lord for seven and handmaid, and they shall take them captive, whose captive they were, and they shall rule over the oppressor. So that's what is going to happen. When Christ comes back, he's going to turn things back around. The only reason the white man is ruling is because we broke God's laws. Now, let me show you something here. Let me show you. 
let me show you something here my people my people i love you so much this is why i'm doing this video because you are my people um man this let me put this i love you so much this is why i'm doing this video so uh let me show you this look at this show you this look at this all right um let me put this this way i don't know if you can see this very well but i don't know uh you can see let me focus down here sunday worship christmas new year ash wednesday good friday easter palm sunday valentine day death celebration mother's day father's day national day celebration birthday carnival this is what we do these are not god laws god laws are here in the green in the green I don't know if you can see this very well. You see Passover, Matthew 26, verse 2. Jesus Christ celebrated the Passover. It is right there. Feast of dedication, John 10, 22. Feast of unleavened bread, the Sabbath, blow of the trumpet, new moon, destruction of Nicanor, Purim, day of Simeon, feast of first fruit, day of atonement, feast of tabernacle. This is why you read here in Matthew 15, verse 7. What did Jesus Christ say? Ye hypocrite, let me what is Christ says, ye hypocrite. Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you saying, These people drown near me with their mouth, they do honor me, but their heart is far away from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandment of what men. We are teaching of doctrine the commandment of men. You see, all these Sunday worship, Christmas, these are not in the Bible. God laws, our people don't keep God laws, right? Now, let me read something to you in um leviticus leviticus uh 26 leviticus 26 verse 13 you wonder why there is terrorism boko haram the fulani will come to our people in nigeria and kill people slaughter people with machet you wonder why all these things are happening let me read to you leviticus 25 verse 44 uh leviticus 26 sorry leviticus 26 verse 13 I am